Today we get to celebrate God's rich gifts of love and commitment in the lives of Anya and Mateo as they join together in the covenant of marriage. How do you two feel right now? We're here. Big breath. Oh, you're shaking. <laughs> it's okay, you're gonna get through this. <laughs> I'm so proud of you for everything, Anya. Genuinely, I'm so happy to see you as happy as you are, and Mateo, for you to bring out this happiness in her. She's a warrior for people she loves, and she has been a warrior for our family. She's been a warrior for her friends and her sister, and, and now you, Mateo. Through the things that you went through, you strengthened our whole family. You lead us in so many ways now with your faith as well, and seeing you two together, the way, you know, uh, Mateo, you've, some people have already mentioned the way that you listen and uh, the way you guys talk and communicate and share and, uh, and pray and, and encourage and all of that. It's so amazing. And you, therefore, are also leading us in that. And that is such a cool thing to see, too. In 2014, I wrote in my diary, I want Mateo to be safe, for his heart not to be broken. I don't want to see my baby brother broken, but I know I can't protect him from everything. The least I can do is try, because I know he would do that and more for me. With you, Anya, I can entrust Mateo's heart. I don't need to protect him, because you're a gift from God that has brought laughter, joy, healing, and blessing. Mateo, I've known you for five years now, and I'd like to say a thank you. Um, you have been there for my sister through thick and thin, and you have helped her so much, and you've made her so unbelievably happy. You know, Michelle and I are honestly, we're cheering you on, and we're just so incredibly proud of both of you. Um, just watching you guys journey over the years, watching you grow in your faith of the Lord. Uh, even connecting and planning and praying about this moment right here. Uh, we just had so much, so much fun with you guys. Even Michelle and I were just talking about the times we met with you and your support group for the interventions for this moment, you know, just to <laughs> make sure, do you really want to do this, you know? Anybody that spent time at our house realizes the thickness of sarcasm that goes around our house. And, and Tom can verify that if anybody can survive the sarcasm at our place, they can survive anything. So when Anya started to come over, I'm like, okay, oh no, that's it. it it's finished. So Mateo started serving the sarcasm and in it would go. And I'm, I'm like, oh, she's gone. She, she wiggled off the hook, she's gone. But. She served it right back, and it's like a ping pong game. I'm like, holy heaven, she's a keeper. I can't believe it. And so their humor's the same, the sarcasm's the same, and I'm like, oh, this is awesome. She's definitely a keeper. I learned at Mateo's bachelor party this past week that every one of the groomsmen and woman called up Mateo after going through breakups. If you're tempted to grab Ben and Jerry's, Mateo's actually the man to console you when you're feeling like crap. Mateo, you're a generous person who sacrifices for those you love and for causes you believe in. Whether that's how you run your business or how you approach relationships, you take care of people and you're incredibly loyal. Mateo, you have this crazy gift of being able to crack jokes and get people laughing one minute 
and then become genuinely very compassionate, curious, and caring for people the next. Anya, I don't have words to describe how much you mean to me, honestly. Um, I don't know how many times I've come to your house crying, um, just an absolute mess. And I know words aren't always my strong suit, but you've just loved me so well. And I hope you know what you mean to me. Um, I'm so unbelievably honored to be here with you today and I've watched you two get married. That's insane and fantastic. What we're witnessing today is not two incomplete people coming together. We're seeing two people, complete, whole people, fully rooted, established in Christ, fully identifying in Him, coming together in holy matrimony. You give such good gifts, and you're so good to us. And man, I'm so, so blessed to have Anya in my life. Thank you so much for the support that she is, that she challenges me and grows me. and. Man, I'm so thankful. God, you're so good. Thank you that you've given me such a beautiful gift of a partner in life. Um, you've made Mateo so wonderfully, and I can't wait to marry him today. It's so exciting. <laughs> In you, I have found the most generous, serving, motivated, hardworking, loving, gentle, handsome, and funny man that I have ever known. If you had asked me five years ago what I would love in a husband, I would have been describing you. <laughs> I want to grow old with you. <laughs> I want to be the one who makes you tea when you're sad, the first one you tell when things go wrong, and the first one who celebrates you when things go right. I choose you today in front of all of our family and friends. I choose you as my partner, my confidant, my Marvel movie buddy, my bandmate, my interior decorator, and most importantly, my husband. I think it's safe to say that at this point, you're the person that knows me the deepest. You've seen me through some of my darkest seasons and celebrated with me through my greatest accomplishments. You've encouraged me so many times to keep pushing to be better and have believed in me even when I found it hard to believe in myself. We're a team. Your joy is my joy, your pain is my pain. I promise to be your partner, and I will do my best to lead out of weakness, to own when I'm wrong, apologize when I've hurt you, and to choose to love you the way that Jesus does, even on the days, months, or even years when things get hard. I've known for a while now that you are the girl that I would marry. It's taken some time to get to this moment, and along the way, I kept telling myself that one day it would all be worth it. That one day we would be standing on the stage and you would walk down that aisle in your pretty dress and we would say our I do's and then we would spend the rest of our lives together. Guess what? We made it. We're here. And I can say 100% it has all been worth it. As of today, I am yours. You're it for me. You're the only woman who has and will have my heart and that I can promise you. It is my absolute pleasure and honor and privilege to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Mateo and Anya Allen. I was sitting in the balcony of our church and for some reason God put on my heart that I had to pray for the geeky drummer who kept pushing his glasses up with his thumb. I don't know why, but I did that Sunday and every Sunday going forward that he was playing. 
I didn't understand at the time, but fast forward a few years and a youth camp later, and he was in our life forever and we couldn't get rid of him. When you find a woman who is patient, faithful, kind, and loving, it's the greatest gift that anyone can ask for.